Oh, welcome to this lesson on Senses Working Overtime, written by the amazing Andy Partridge. Uh, it's from one of my favorite albums of all time, XTC's English Settlement, which came out in uh, 1982. And as with all XTC songs, there are a lot of layers and there are two guitars. So the idea of this lesson is to enable you to play it with one guitar. In part one, we're going to do a playthrough of the key elements, and then we're going to break down the verse and the chorus. And then in part two, we'll look at the bridge and the last chorus where they've modulated from the key of E to the key of F. So that's a lot to cover. Let's get started. Okay, so the uh, the verse starts off with the uh, Andy Partridge playing the acoustic guitar. We're going to do it on electric because we're going to try to get all the guitar parts basically on one guitar. So uh, when he's singing the verse, he starts off with this. What he's doing um, is playing the D string at the sixth fret and the G string at the eighth fret, all right. And you're tom muting this severely so that it's somewhere between percussion and sound. So you're getting okay. So I've got my hand muting this, and then you're changing, you're switching basically to the D string at the eighth fret and the G string at the sixth fret and getting. So. And then the 
other part, so you're playing four bars of that. You play two bars in the introduction, four bars while he's singing. And then you're going to play this, which is just um, A string at the um, sixth fret and D string at the sixth fret. You're going to, you're going to go down to uh, the first fret on both of those, and then you're going to slide slowly back up. And you're still palm muting, so you're going to get... delay a little bit when you slide up so instead of going you want to go and then you go back to the last time you don't slide up because you're going to play the uh, kind of pre-chorus. The pre-chorus is this kind of Townsend-esque uh, A chord to, uh, you know, basically it's a G chord because you're just lifting your fingers off. So uh, you're going to play. To a B chord. And you lift off. ready to go into the chorus one two three four five okay so you've done your Townsend thing you know and you're into one two three four five the chorus and that's done in a kind of a choppy way and you're gonna go and then you've got so uh, you're starting with open E chord obviously a B chord and an E chord. Then you're going to play um, the B string at the fifth fret and the E string open, and then the fourth fret on the B string and the E open, and then the uh, second fret on the B string, and then op uh, the both strings open. And then A chord, back to the E, and then a B, and you're going to put your pinky on and off on the uh, B string at the fifth fret. That's going to give you a, um, um, what is that now? I, I think it's a B sus four, yeah. So, so. That's the sus4 in there. And then uh, trying to take this all in, it's um, A, B, E, and then B. So. Then one, two, three, four, five. same way but then the next part trying trying to taste the difference between a lemon and a lime you're only going between an A and a B until you get the church bells church bells slowly chime it's um, E chord and you come down and play you're doing there is uh, you, you leave your E chord in place, pick up these fingers, and then come down and play uh, the G string at the fourth fret, then the G string at second fret, then the first fret, then the D string at the fourth fret, then back to uh, G string at the third at the first, second, First. All right. Um, 
And then typically you're going to go back to, you know, for the next verse. You're, you're, all right. Uh, and you go through that whole thing. And when you get to this point again where you've played church bells, uh, softly chime. Then you go into the bridge.